Thank you for purchasing a PowerMax system. This brief movie is designed to provide you with basic information on PowerMax system setup and operation, as well as tips to optimize cut quality and consumable life. Before we can begin talking about system setup, we must first emphasize the importance of safety. The plasma arc cutting process is very safe. However, it is extremely important that you fully understand and follow prevention methods to guard against electrical shock and how to protect your skin, ears, lungs and eyes. By following proper setup and operational procedures demonstrated in this movie and outlined in the operator manual, you will minimize the chance of injury. In this section we will cover consumable installation, power and air connections, system controls and indicators. If later you have any questions relating to the proper setup of the system, refer to the operator's manual, the quick setup card, or the decals on the power supply. To check the proper installation of the torch consumables, unscrew the retaining cap to remove the parts within. Replace the parts by first inserting the swirl ring, followed by the electrode and nozzle. Screw the retaining cap on until hand tight. Do not over tighten as the consumables may become damaged and interfere with proper operation. The PowerMax 190C comes with an integrated compressor so no external air is required. However, the PowerMax 380 does need to be connected to compressed air or nitrogen, therefore the gas hose must be installed on the back of the system. Remove the quick disconnect fitting from the kit, which is in the side compartment. Apply a non-locking liquid pipe sealant to the threads of the fitting to ensure a leak-free installation. Do not use Teflon tape. Screw the fitting on until hand tight, then using a wrench, turn until snug. Pull back the quick release collar on the gas hose and insert on the fitting. Air should be filtered to remove all dirt, water and oil as contaminants can damage the power supply, torch and consumables. The minimum gas pressure is 60 psi or 4.2 bar and should not exceed 120 psi or 8.3 bar. Depending on the input voltage requirement of the system, the plug on the power cord may need to be changed. If this is the case or the system is to be hardwired to a power source, the work must be done by a licensed electrician. For input voltage requirements, refer to the data plate on the back of the system or the operator manual. The PowerMax 380 is a dual voltage system, so you must select the required voltage using the switch on the back of the system. After power is properly connected, power on the system by turning the switch on the front of the system. The power lamp on the front of the system will illuminate. On the PowerMax 380, you will need to set the gas pressure to 60 psi. Turn the current knob all the way to the left into the gas test position. Then pull the regulator knob to unlock. Turn knob until the required gas pressure is obtained. Then push the regulator knob to lock. Finally, adjust the cutting current to the desired position. The other indicator lamps on the system are for a torch cap placement and over temperature. The PowerMax 380 also has a gas pressure lamp. If yellow gas pressure lamp illuminates, the gas pressure is too low. If the yellow torch cap lamp illuminates, then the retaining cap is loose or not installed. If the yellow temperature lamp illuminates, the system temperature has exceeded its operating limit. Before making your first cuts, Attach the work clamp securely to the workpiece or the cutting table near the cut. Remove any rust, paint or coatings to ensure good electrical contact. 
never attach it to the portion of the metal that will fall away. If using shielded consumables on the PowerMax 190C, you can drag the torch lightly across the workpiece. Using non-shielded consumables, maintain approximately a 1 16th inch or 1.5 millimeter torch to work distance. Avoid unnecessary starts as they reduce nozzle and electrode life. To perform an edge start, hold the torch vertically just off the edge of the workpiece. Pull the safety lock back and depress the red trigger to fire the torch. The pilot arc will transfer to the workpiece and become the cutting arc. You may need to pause at the edge until the arc has completely cut through the workpiece, then proceed with the cut. When nearing the end of the cut, angle the torch into the direction of the cut, allowing the arc to come out first, ensuring a complete cut. Maintaining proper travel speed is key to successful cutting. Watch the arc beneath the plate as sparks should lag 15 to 30 degrees behind the cut. Lag lines on finished cut edge should also be about 15 to 30 degrees. If the sparks are vertical, then you are moving the torch too slowly. If the sparks are parallel to the workpiece or are spraying up, you are moving too fast or don't have sufficient power. You may use a circle cutting guide, straight edge, or template to guide the torch. However, the distance from the shield center to the edge must be factored when creating a template or placement of the straight edge. If using an angle iron for beveling, remember that the material thickness increases proportionally with the bevel angle. The piercing capability of a system is typically half of the maximum cut capacity. Depending on the thickness of the metal being pierced and the system being used, there are two methods of piercing. If piercing thin metal, hold the torch perpendicular to the workpiece and pull the trigger to transfer the arc. If piercing thick metal, hold the torch at an angle so that the nozzle is within 1 16th of an inch or 1.5 millimeters from the workpiece. Pull the trigger to transfer the arc, then slowly rotate it to an upright position. In both methods, when sparks are exiting from the bottom of the workpiece, you have pierced through the metal, and then you may proceed with the cut. To prolong the life of consumables, it is recommended that the second method be used to minimize damage to the consumables caused from molten metal blowback. Cut quality and consumable life are often two very important factors when selecting a system. To ensure that the torch consumables last as long as they are designed to and perform to manufacturer's specifications, follow the tips in this movie and refer to the supplied cut charts for proper setup. A number of factors determine how long consumables last. Air quality, piercing technique, length of average cut, operator skill, material thickness, and material type all play a role. Reduced system performance and cut quality are often caused by poor air quality, so be sure to maintain clean, dry, oil-free air. Hypotherm offers a variety of accessories for the PowerMax line, such as air filters, circle cutting guides, leather torch sheathing, system dust covers, wheel kits, heat shields, face shields, and fine cut consumables for cutting thin plate material. For more information about any Hypotherm products, please contact your authorized distributor or visit our website at hypotherm.com. By following the recommended setup and operational procedures, you will optimize the performance of your PowerMax while ensuring years of safe and satisfactory operation. We thank you for your purchase of our PowerMax system.